I hate to say I told you so, but when I have the opportunity to do it, I will do it. My second down this week was the Los Angeles Chargers will have a difficult time going back to Terod Taylor. That no matter how unfortunate and unprecedented it is for a quarterback and a captain of a team to lose his starting role because of an errant needle from your own team doctor right before kickoff to take away the pain of a rib injury and it punctures a lung. You don't want to tell a guy who you love and is a leader of your team and you are desperate as a coach to give the opportunity to because you know he's worked his ass off for years because you were with him with another team and you brought him to this team and you're giving him the shot to start for this team and that guy loses his job because of that unfortunate situation has happened to Rod Taylor. But when you have Justin Herbert drafted sixth overall and you have him showing up in that start where the needle went in errantly into Terod Taylor and within seconds of learning he's going to start has to face down the defending Super Bowl champion Chiefs and he leads a touchdown drive on that and almost wins that game and then goes toe-to-toe for point for point with the GOAT Tom Brady on the road when Brady throws for five touchdowns and 369 yards passing. It's tough to say, you know what, kid? We're sitting you down. And Anthony Lynn said yesterday, it's Justin Herbert's gig the rest of the year. And that was the only move that he could make. Because unlike Dwayne Haskins, Anthony Lynn is not the new coach in town who didn't draft or wasn't part of the uh, organization when they drafted this kid, as Ron Rivera is in the Washington football team for Dwayne Haskins. And... Dwayne Haskins may or may not, in the eyes of the new coach, be the future, and they don't want to live with the growing pains of it throughout this playing season when they have an opportunity to win a division, which the Chargers, you could say, still have, but the Chiefs are way in front for the Chargers to make the playoffs this year. One would say if you did give Anthony Lynn some pause, Certainly when you've already lost a game. Hey, which, uh, which is your best opportunity? Well, that 5-6 and if not 7 seed looks pretty damn good to me. And then we can see what we've got in this kid and let him get the reps because he is the future and getting the reps now while we have a shot to win with the guys that we have around him. Let's do it. Different than the Dwayne Haskins situation. I thought this was a good move by Anthony Lynn and was the, in my mind, only move he could make now and also why it was so weird when he said for the Chargers who are now you know as we know one and three that he said at the time that the kids are back up for the reason you know after he almost beat the Chiefs it was really a weird thing to say when this kid is clearly the future you've just drafted him unless you want to be Jay Gruden you kind of have to back the kids play here it's kind of the only way to move so that now it's official, and I think it's. I Herbert think it's can a, play. I mean, say it again. I don't think there's any doubt that Herbert can play. Look what the kid's done the last two weeks. See how to do it, and he did it. He pulled the trigger on it yesterday, and that'll be interestingly enough his first start as the Chargers' starting quarterback of the future, and for the rest of the season, not a guy filling in is against a guy who was once taken by that organization only to lose his job and wind up in New Orleans and Drew Brees. Brees' last game against the Chargers, unless uh, Justin Herbert goes on a magical run and they see each other again in Tampa. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.